I'm Brittany McGraw and this is your 10 News Update. New details in the death of a Lynchburg High student athlete. According to court documents, the teen charged in the case admitted to police he shot two EC Glass High School students. Officers say the teen left the gun that killed 18 year old Drayon Browley in a car, which they found when they searched it. Police also found what they called green plant material. A woman exonerated by Italy's highest court is now showing her support for a former UVA student who was serving two life sentences. A podcast by Amanda Knox, who was wrongfully convicted of killing her roommate, will focus on Yin Soaring over the next eight weeks. Soaring was convicted of the 1985 murders of Derek and Nancy Haysom in Bedford County. He admitted to the killing, but has since claimed his confession was false. Virginia Tech is anticipating its largest freshman class in the fall, but now the school is asking students to wait before starting school. Options include taking a gap year, tuition reimbursement if they attend a community college, and free summer tuition. University leaders say housing that many students would put a strain on resources. Gambling could be coming to Danville, but it won't be in the form of a casino. Colonial Downs is interested in opening a Rosie's in the city. The group submitted paperwork Thursday to start the process of a voter referendum for the off track betting facility. Colonial Downs opened its second Rosie's location in Benton earlier this month with 150 horse racing machines. A reminder that you can get updates on WSLS.com and also the 10 News app. I'm Brittany McGraw, 10 News, working for you.